Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks. I have another pair of Nikes here I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. This one right here was kind of a weird release. Uh, this is a CDG and Nike collaboration that they did with the Air Max 180. Now when these originally released, I could have sworn I saw them like at 200 bucks. Uh, and then they went quick. Then they reappeared on Barney's for pre-order uh, for $260, which seems to be the average retail for them. Uh, but also, like, the pre-order shipped the next day for me, so I don't really know how that all worked. One thing I will say right here is they tore the suggested retail off the box, so maybe Nike screwed up with that and put them at $200 or something like that, and then uh, when they got word that it was $260, they just kind of ripped that label off. Uh, but I got these straight from Barney's New York, as you can see the tags right there. These came in today, and I'm super excited to be reviewing these. I love the Air Max 180 silhouette, and with this colorway that they did on it, I'm just in love. Now first thing you get out of the box is this Comedé Garçons uh, little tag that comes on there. It just says like the style code and the size really and what it's made out of. And it's not attached in any way, it was just floating around in the box, which I thought was a little bit weird. Uh, but I guess that's normal. Now here's the shoe. I got the, just the all pink version. There's a pink with white and a pink with black. I just got the all pink version. I thought that was the best looking in my opinion. Uh, and the first thing that I noticed when I tried these on out of the box was that the laces are super short. Uh, all the pictures I saw of them wearing them on the runway, they did not go up to that bottom lace hole right there, which is like the last one. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to do the same because these laces are super, super short. As you can tell, the shoe is already choked up as is. And uh, yeah, you don't really get much. A cool detail to feature is the Air Max 180 branding right there on the tongue is actually 3M, so whenever flash or light hits it, it's gonna just reflect off of. Uh, and besides that, there's no CDG branding on this shoe at all besides the insole, which as you can see just has all those Nike swooshes and then it says Carmen de Garcons on there. Uh, but that's gonna be it. There's no CDG branding across the shoe, on the back or anything like that. It just says Nike Air and 180. Uh, the lateral side right here is pretty much the same as the medial, nothing different. Outsole right here, you get your air unit window, uh, which is super, super nice. It's nice and translucent. Then you just get your Nike forefoot, which is just that waffle pattern, nothing too crazy really. Now do I justify these being at 200 and what was it, $260? Yeah, $260? No, they're not, this is not a shoe to retail at $260. It's just a rebranded uh, Air Max 180. Honestly, I have the the Marines coming in soon and I'm pretty sure the quality is gonna be just the same. The quality suede on this or Nubuck, whatever you want to call this, is nothing great. It feels like felt. Uh, it's just regular mesh or neoprene, whatever you want to call that. I guess neoprene, it's pretty stretchy. Uh, and that's pretty much it to be quite honest with you. There's, there's the, the craftsmanship is decent. There's some glue stains that I can see, uh, some paint marks that are kind of messed up. Uh, I mean, honestly, 260 bucks is a lot. That's like resale on a pair of shoes. And that's retail for this one right here. But the colorway I'm just in love with. I know a lot of people are iffy on it. They're saying, you know, it kind of just looks like a knockoff sneaker. It looks like something you can buy at Walmart or something like that. And, you know, I think it's dope. I, I really like the colorway. I don't have anything this color. And uh, I'm planning on going to Austin soon with some friends to a sneaker convention. And I think I'm going to wear these. I think I'm going to wear this. Uh, I don't think anybody will really have these on. Uh, and I just think it's a loud sneaker, like for summer and spring and stuff like that. And like I've been previously mentioning in my pr uh, videos, I'm going to be going to San Francisco soon. And I want to take some cool sneakers to rock out there. Because I know like they have the big Barneys out there and stuff I want to visit. Uh, and kind of just wear some like pretty cool kicks and stuff like that. So I think this will be a really dope one to wear. But yeah, the $260 price point on these things... I don't really see it being justified at all, uh, but like I said, I was able to pick these up. They did sell out super quick at the under retail price when they were listed. Uh, for retail, they sat for about a day. Uh, size 12 went pretty quick. I had to get these in a size 12, not 11 and a half, uh, because after 11, it went straight to 12. I don't know why. Uh, the Marines I got, they're going to be in 11 and a half. And when I tried these on, they fit pretty snug because it has like a strap. And it's kind of like a Hirachi fit. So I'm hoping that the 11 and a half fits me good. Uh, lengthwise, it was pretty long. It was like my toe was maybe here. So I'm thinking 11 and a half will be a better fit for me, but 11 would have been way too tight. Uh, but if not, I can always just return them to Nike and get me at a 12 if the Marines fit me a little bit too tight. But yeah, this right here is a super dope pickup. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this release. I know they've been releasing some kind of weird stuff like those Air Force Ones with the dinosaur moldings on them. 
uh, and what did they release before that, like some other Air Force Ones. They do like some really weird uh, collaborations with Nike every once in a while. They did those Vapor Maxes that were laceless and then Nike said screw it and released the exact same thing without the CDG branding. Uh, so hopefully they don't do this with this one because there is zero branding on this shoe and it would just be the exact same copy. But like I said, I like this shoe. It has like a retro vibe to it. I love the silhouette because it's a retro silhouette. And then this colorway with the bright pink neons and stuff like that. I just love it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said in my previous ones, I have a lot of stuff coming in this week. So just be prepared on your YouTube feed to be seeing me a lot. I'm going to be putting out a lot of different videos coming up. Uh, some ones that I need to record still. And then some ones that are coming in tomorrow. Hey, but that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time.